A minute of arc, arcminute, arcmin, arcminute, or minute arc is a unit of angular measurement equal to 1 60th of 1 degree. Since 1 degree is 1 360th of a turn or complete rotation, 1 minute of arc is 1 21,600th of a turn, it is for this reason that the Earth's circumference is almost exactly 21,600 nautical miles. A minute of arc is π, 10,800 of a radian. A second of arc, arcsecond, arcsec, or arcsecond is 1 60th of an arcminute, 1 3,600th of a degree, 1 1 million 296,000th of a turn, and pi, 648,000 about 1 206,265th of a radian. These units originated in Babylonian astronomy as sexagesimal subdivisions of the degree, they are used in fields that involve very small angles, such as astronomy, optometry, ophthalmology, optics, navigation, land surveying, and marksmanship. To express even smaller angles, standard SI prefixes can be employed, the milliarcsecond and microarcsecond for instance, are commonly used in astronomy. The number of square arcminutes in a complete sphere is 4 pi 10 800 pi 2 equals 466 560 000 pi approximately equals Display style 4 pi left frac 10 800 pi right caret 2 equals frac 466 560 000 pi approximately 148,510,660 square arcminutes. The surface area of a unit sphere in square units divided by the solid angle area subtended by a square arcminute, also in square units, so that the final result is a dimensionless number. Symbols and abbreviations The standard symbol for marking the arcminute is the prime U though a single quote U is commonly used where only ASCII characters are permitted. One arcminute is thus written one foot. It is also abbreviated as arcmin or amin or, less commonly, the prime with a circumflex over it. Carat Display style hat the standard symbol for the arc second is the double prime U plus though a double quote U plus is commonly used where only ASCII characters are permitted. One arc second is thus written one inch. It is also abbreviated as arcsec or ASIC. In celestial navigation, seconds of arc are rarely used in calculations, the preference usually being for degrees, minutes and decimals of a minute, for example, written as 42 degrees 25.32 or 42 degrees 25.322. This notation has been carried over into marine GPS receivers, which normally display latitude and longitude in the latter format by default. Topic. Common examples The full moon's average apparent size is about 31 arcminutes or 0.52 degrees. An arcminute is approximately the resolution of the human eye. An arcsecond is approximately the angle subtended by a U.S. dime coin 18 mm at a distance of 4 km about 2.5 miles. An arcsecond is also the angle subtended by an object of diameter 725.27 km at a distance of 1 astronomical unit An object of diameter 45,866,916 km at 1 light year An object of diameter 1 astronomical unit 149,597,871 km at a distance of 1 parsec a milliarcsecond is about the size of a dime atop the Eiffel Tower as seen from New York City A microarcsecond is about the size of a period at the end of a sentence in the Apollo mission manuals left on the moon as seen from Earth A nanoarcsecond is about the size of a penny on Neptune's moon Triton as observed from Earth also notable examples of size in arcseconds are Hubble Space Telescope has calculational resolution of 0.05 arcseconds and actual resolution of almost 0.1 arcseconds, which is close to the diffraction limit. Crescent Venus measures between 60.2 and 66 seconds of arc.
Topic Uses Topic Astronomy Since antiquity the arc minute and arc second have been used in astronomy. In the ecliptic coordinate system, latitude beta and longitude lambda, in the horizon system, altitude alt and azimuth as, and in the equatorial coordinate system, declination delta, are all measured in degrees, arcminutes and arcseconds. The principal exception is right ascension in equatorial coordinates, which is measured in time units of hours, minutes, and seconds. The arcsecond is also often used to describe small astronomical angles such as the angular diameters of planets e.g. the angular diameter of Venus which varies between 10 inches and 60 inches, the proper motion of stars, the separation of components of binary star systems, and parallax, the small change of position of a star in the course of a year or of a solar system body as the Earth rotates. These small angles may also be written in milliarcseconds or thousandths of an arcsecond. The unit of distance, the parsec, named from the parallax of one arc second, was developed for such parallax measurements. It is the distance at which the mean radius of the Earth's orbit would subtend an angle of one arc second. The ESA Astrometric Space Probe Gaia, launched in 2013, can approximate star positions to 7 microarcseconds micro as, apart from the Sun, the star with the largest angular diameter from Earth is R. Doradus, a red supergiant with a diameter of 0.05 arcsecond. Because of the effects of atmospheric seeing, ground-based telescopes will smear the image of a star to an angular diameter of about 0.5 arcsecond. In poor seeing conditions, this increases to 1.5 arcseconds or even more. The dwarf planet Pluto has proven difficult to resolve because its angular diameter is about 0.1 arcsecond. Space telescopes are not affected by the Earth's atmosphere but are diffraction limited. For example, the Hubble Space Telescope can reach an angular size of stars down to about 0.1. Techniques exist for improving seeing on the ground. Adaptive optics, for example, can produce images around 0.05 arcsecond on a 10 m class telescope. <laughs> Cartography Minutes and seconds of arc are also used in cartography and navigation. At sea level one minute of arc along the equator or a meridian indeed, any great circle equals exactly one geographical mile along the Earth's equator or approximately one nautical mile 1852 meters, or approximately equals 1.15078 statute miles. A second of arc, one sixtieth of this amount, is roughly 30 meters or 100 feet. The exact distance varies along meridian arcs because the figure of the Earth is slightly oblate bulges a third of a percent at the equator. Positions are traditionally given using degrees, minutes, and seconds of arcs for latitude, the arc north or south of the equator, and for longitude, the arc east or west of the prime meridian. Any position on or above the Earth's reference ellipsoid can be precisely given with this method. However, when it is inconvenient to use base 60 for minutes and seconds, positions are frequently expressed as decimal fractional degrees to an equal amount of precision. Degrees given to three decimal places one one thousandth of a degree have about one quarter the precision of degrees minutes seconds one three thousand six hundredth of a degree and specify locations within about 120 meters or 400 feet. Property catastral surveying Related to cartography, property boundary surveying using the meets and bounds system relies on fractions of a degree to describe property lines angles in reference to cardinal directions. A boundary meet is described with a beginning reference point, the cardinal direction north or south followed by an angle less than 90 degrees and a second cardinal direction, and a linear distance. The boundary runs the specified linear distance from the beginning point, the direction of the distance being determined by rotating the first cardinal direction the specified angle toward the second cardinal direction. For example, north 65 degrees 39 minutes 18 seconds west 85.69 feet would describe a line running from the starting point 85.69 feet in a direction 65 degrees 39 minutes 18 seconds or 65.655 degrees away from north toward the west. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Firearms. The arcminute is commonly found in the firearms industry and literature, particularly concerning the accuracy of rifles, though the industry refers to it as minute of angle It is especially popular with shooters familiar with the imperial measurement system because one MOA is subtended by a sphere with a diameter of 1.047 inches at 100 yards 2.908 centimeters at 100 meters, a traditional distance on U.S. target ranges. The subtension is linear with the distance, for example, at 500 yards, one MOA is subtended by a sphere with a diameter of 5.235 inches, and at 1,000 yards one MOA is subtended by a sphere with a diameter of 10.47 inches. Since many modern telescopic sights are adjustable in half, one half quarter, one quarter, or eighth, one eighth MOA increments, also known as clicks, zeroing and adjustments are made by counting 2, 4 and 8 clicks per MOA respectively. For example, if the point of impact is 3 inches high and 1.5 inches left of the point of aim at 100 yards which for instance could be measured by using a spotting scope with a calibrated reticle, the scope needs to be adjusted 3 MOA down, and 1.5 MOA right. Such adjustments are trivial when the scope's adjustment dials have a MOA scale printed on them, and even figuring the right number of clicks is relatively easy on scopes that click in fractions of MOA. This makes zeroing and adjustments much easier. To adjust a 1 half MOA scope 3 MOA down and 1. 5 MOA right, the scope needs to be adjusted 3 times 2. Topic. 6 clicks down and 1.5 x 2. 3 clicks right. To adjust a 1 quarter MOA scope 3 MOA down and 1. 5 MOA right, the scope needs to be adjusted 3 by 4. Topic: 12 clicks down and 1.5 times 4. 6 clicks right. To adjust a 1/8 MOA scope, 3 MOA down and 1. 5 MOA right. The scope needs to be adjusted 3 by 8. Topic: 24 clicks down and 1.5 times 8. 12 clicks right another common system of measurement in firearm scopes is the milliradian zeroing a mil based scope is easy for users familiar with base 10 systems the most common adjustment value in mil based scopes is 1/10 mil which approximates 1 -third moa to adjust a 1/10 mil scope 0.9 mil down and 0.4 mil right the scope needs to be adjusted 9 clicks down and 4 clicks right which equals approximately 3 and 1.5 moa respectively one thing to be aware of is that some moa scopes including some higher end models are calibrated such that an adjustment of 1 moa on the scope knobs corresponds to exactly 1 inch of impact adjustment on a target at 100 yards rather than the mathematically correct 1.047 this is commonly known as the shooter's MOA SMOA or inches per hundred yards IPHY. While the difference between one true MOA and one SMOA is less than half of an inch even at 1,000 yards, this error compounds significantly on longer-range shots that may require adjustment upwards of 20 to 30 MOA to compensate for the bullet drop. If a shot requires an adjustment of 20 MOA or more, the difference between true MOA and SMOA will add up to one inch or more. In competitive target shooting, this might mean the difference between a hit and a miss. The physical group size equivalent to m minutes of arc can be calculated as follows, group size equals tan m, 60 times distance. In the example previously given, for one minute of arc, and substituting 3,600 inches for 100 yards, 3,600 tan 160th approximately equals 1.047 inches. In metric units 1 MOA at 100 meters approximately equals 2.908 cm. Sometimes, a precision firearms accuracy will be measured in MOA. This simply means that under ideal conditions i.e. no wind, match-grade ammo, clean barrel, and a vice or a benchrest used to eliminate shooter error, the gun is capable of producing a group of shots whose center points center to center fit into a circle. The average diameter of circles in several groups can be subtended by that amount of arc. For example, a one mower rifle should be capable, under ideal conditions, of shooting an average one-inch groups at 100 yards. 
Most higher-end rifles are warrantied by their manufacturer to shoot under a given MOA threshold typically one MOA or better with specific ammunition and no error on the shooter's part. For example, Remington's M24 sniper weapon system is required to shoot 0.8 MOA or better, or be rejected. Rifle manufacturers and gun magazines often refer to this capability as sub-MOA, meaning it shoots under one MOA. This means that a single group of 3 to 5 shots at 100 yards, or the average of several groups, will measure less than one MOA between the two furthest shots in the group, i.e. all shots fall within one MOA. If larger samples are taken i.e., more shots per group then group size typically increases, however this will ultimately average out. If a rifle was truly a one MOA rifle, it would be just as likely that two consecutive shots land exactly on top of each other as that they land one MOA apart. For five-shot groups, based on 95% confidence a rifle that normally shoots one MOA can be expected to shoot groups between 0.58 MOA and 1.47 MOA, although the majority of these groups will be under one MOA. What this means in practice is if a rifle that shoots 1-inch groups on average at 100 yards shoots a group measuring 0.7 inches followed by a group that is 1.3 inches this is not statistically abnormal. The metric system counterpart of the MOA is the milliradian or mil, being equal to 1 1,000th of the target range, laid out on a circle that has the observer as center and the target range as radius. The number of mils on a full such circle therefore always is equal to 2 times pi times 1000, regardless the target range. Therefore, 1 MOA approximately equals 0.2908 mil. This means that an object which spans 1 mil on the reticle is at a range that is in meters equal to the object's size in millimeters e.g. an object of 100 millimeters at 1 m rad is 100 meters away. So there is no conversion factor required, contrary to the MOA system. A reticle with markings hashes or dots spaced with a one mil apart or a fraction of a mil are collectively called a mil reticle. If the markings are round they are called mil dots. In the table below conversions from mil to metric values are exact e.g. 0.1 mil equals exactly 1 cm at 100 m, while conversions of minutes of arc to both metric and imperial values are approximate. Values in bold face are exact. All mil fractions are given in tenths, which is more convenient for practical use. One foot at 100 yards equals 22,619. 21,600 equals 1.04717593 in approximately equals 1.047 inches. One foot approximately equals 0.291 mil or 2.91 centimeters at 100 meters, approximately 3 centimeters at 100 meters. One mil approximately equals 3.44, so one tenth mil approximately equals one third. 0.1 mil equals exactly one centimeter at 100 meters, or approximately 0.36 inches at 100 yards. Topic. Human vision In humans, 2020 vision is the ability to resolve a spatial pattern separated by a visual angle of one minute of arc. A 2020 letter subtends five minutes of arc total. Topic. Materials The deviation from parallelism between two surfaces, for instance in optical engineering, is usually measured in arcminutes or arcseconds. In addition, arcseconds are sometimes used in rocking curve omega scan X-ray diffraction measurements of high-quality epitaxial thin films. Manufacturing <inaudible> 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 Some measurement devices make use of arcminutes and arcseconds to measure angles when the object being measured is too small for direct visual inspection. For instance, a toolmaker's optical comparator will often include an option to measure in minutes and seconds. See also Degree angle section subdivisions Sexagesimal section Modern usage Square minute Square second Milliradian Notes <laughs>